What's up guys? This is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag. And today I'm going to talk about another perfume from the brand Armaf, which is Club de Nuit Intense Women. So this is how the package comes. This is known to be a clone of Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. In case you have smelled that, then you would realize why it is known to be a clone. Definitely, I would agree with that. I think I've smelled it once or twice. It does have similarity, but maybe the quality difference so before i brief about how exactly it smells let's talk about the packaging this is how the package comes so the scripts are in golden it says club Dunyu intense women but to be honest it no way smells like a feminine perfume to me it totally smells masculine so this is how the back comes it says sterling perfumes and the armaf logo you get the batch details here this is made in france you also get made in uae as well i'm not sure if there is any difference in that so this is how the bottle comes. It, it is a beautiful bottle. The black shiny bottle and a shiny gold with the shiny tag. Beautiful bottle. Nothing to complain about the bottle also. Similar to Club Dunui Intense Man, but Intense Man comes with a black cap and a black tag. So this comes in gold. But like I said, though it says women, it does not smell like a women's perfume to me at all. Maybe it is unisex, but I would still say that it is 80% masculine, maybe 20% feminine if some women can carry it off this is just my opinion guys you can have disagreements but based on what i smell from this it is totally a masculine dry rose and oud so that's the opening in this one i get the oud right on top with that dry rosy feel which is why i don't sense anything of that feminine vibe in this one so for me this is totally a masculine scent I actually thought I would give this to my wife but after checking the smell I did not find this feminine I do not want my wife to wear it so I thought I'll use this for myself so that was the top note dry rose and oud and in the mid I get a little bit of chocolatey feel along with violet flowers and pepper to give it that spiciness along with that slight chocolatey feel and then in the base you would get amber woody and patchouli the woody is nothing but the oud again it's not a high quality oud but to me it does not smell anything of the cheap quality as well. It smells totally of good quality for the price that it sells for. It sells for about 1200 to 1300 between that range. For the price no complaints at all. It is great quality done in this. So talking about wearing experience I get about 2 hours of projection for about 2 feet and then a longevity of 7 to 8 hours easily. So I wore this to office once and one of my male colleague asked me in the first one hour he really liked this one and he said which one are you wearing today it smells very different and before i told him the name i asked him does it smell feminine by any chance he said no it totally smells masculine so it's not just my opinion even my colleague who asked he also said it does not smell feminine to him as well and it smells really nice really different from the usual perfumes i wear so one compliment on the first day of wearing that was pretty impressive to be honest because oud and rose is not really something that many people would like but i did not receive any negative comment as well so two hours of projection with seven to eight hours of longevity that's the performance i get in this one some people say that it's a beast performer i did not really sense that maybe it is reformulated no idea but seven to eight hours is still a great deal now the only negative is you cannot use this on a summer day it is more of a winter scent because of the dry rose and oud opening that this one has or you can definitely use it for office in case you work in an air conditions office indoors so it will definitely suit if you're working in ac office even in the summers but otherwise this is more of a winter scent in my opinion i don't think it would go with hot summers as it can get a little cloying and the beauty of that scent blending might get totally opposite so i don't recommend this for summers wear it only in the winters or if you work in ac environment so this doesn't smell anything like the common sense that you would get because Tom Ford usually creates something very unique and this being known to be a clone of Noir de Noir also is something different from the usual sense that you get. Even Tom Ford Black Orchid is known to be a women's scent but I usually see men preferring to wear that. So similarly Noir de Noir uh, Club de Nuit Intense Women is also masculine to my nose so I would easily say that any man can carry it off if you like ooh then that dry rose kind of fragrance it is lift different it is not the usual fresh 
citrusy scent it is totally different something little unique but because it is a clone i cannot really call it as unique but otherwise it's not the usual scent so that was it let me know in case you have tried this or bought this share your thoughts with me comment down in the comment section see you next time in another video cheers